Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and this is my movie review for A Stork's Journey. Orphaned at birth and raised by storks, the sparrow, Richard, believes he is a stork also. But when winter comes and the storks prepare to migrate to Africa, his stork family must reveal his true identity and leave him behind in the forest with the other sparrows, since he would not survive the long journey. Determined to prove he is a stork, Richard ventures south on an epic adventure, accompanied by friends big and small, to unleash his true potential and be re reunited with his family. Rated PG, of course. 84 minutes long, 2017 movie. Featuring some voices you know. I'll just leave it at that. So I'm just going to do this movie review while I'm waiting for my car to warm up here. And I just wanted to let everybody know that watches this review that I really like this movie. Usually when I sit down and watch a kid's movie, um, I count the times that... It's inappropriate for kids, it's scary, and it's stupid, or it makes stupid references. Um, so number one, um, if it's appropriate for kids or not, or if it makes any kind of things that maybe kids shouldn't uh, listen to. I only counted two little lines that I was kind of concerned about, but I don't know if they'll catch them or if you'll hear them enough to for it to really matter two is if it's scary and it quite is um it comes up with the main villain at the end as the honey badger and along the way you have a couple of things here and there that are quite a fright like even flying in the clouds with lightning you know i mean it's it's kind of a scary scene and kind of a scary element and i don't know if kids will be so integrated into it that they'll be scared but i just felt like it was kind of a dull part of the movie because it it, it could be scary for certain kids so um sometimes i just invest them in the movie and that's a good thing but some you know can get quite scarred by some of the scary things that happen so it's just one of those movies i just kind of want to warn people about it it's there and then thirdly um if it's stupid or not, I don't think this is a stupid movie by any means. Number one thing that comes off the top of my head is it involves birds. And most of the movies about birds in our generation, um, Guardians was a good one. Um, even the ant movie that involves creatures, you know, I mean, just any animal movie out there. The dogs and the cats are kind of the most popular ones, but... Birds are a close third, and, you know, they're, they're, they're solid third place for popularity as far as movies go, if it's about them. And I would say that this one pulls it off pretty well. Um, oh, Rio is what I was trying to think of. That was a really good movie. And this is, too. It has its own kind of flair. It has its own kind of story. It uh, We've seen the the fitting in before. We've seen the adventure part before um so it's not totally original but it is very enjoyable so i think people will um connect with it they'll laugh at it and kids will totally be into it enough to the point where they are paying attention the whole time that's about as much credit as i can give it so i'm gonna give a stork's journey being a little bit of a repeat of some other parts of movies here and there, but overall being a very enjoyable time, I'm going to give it a B. I think it was not disappointing whatsoever. I was into it the whole time. It had some good lessons along the way about accepting people and loving people, even if they're different from you. I think that's the overlining message of the movie, and that's always a good thing. It just was not the most unique or most enjoyable or most musical movie I've ever seen from a kid's movie. So I think that's pretty fair to say B. So thanks for watching this movie review. If you liked it, try and watch my other ones. I do watch a lot of children's movies, and I like most of them. And I do a lot of other movies too. So like and subscribe to my channel if you would, and enjoy your movies. Thanks, guys.